All right, Shalom, call Halayim La, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, as all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwab, those of the hopeful elect. And now I want to bring out a couple of articles just going into uh, World War Three is in the air. All right. And uh, this is all prophecy, you know, according to the Bible, what the Lord will do in your lifetime. OK, and uh, there's two articles just to go to show that they're getting ready to have a full out war come soon. Now, of course, we know the mark of the beast was the RFID chip must be made mandatory. OK, and uh, must be implemented before this war takes flight. But in the meantime, this prophecy is actually brewing up. OK, now I got this article here from The Guardian. OK, it, uh, it says Russia is helping China build a missile defense system. Putin says, OK, now that shows an alliance between two of America's um, uh, top enemies. OK, and which we know Russia has an interest in Iran as well. But when you read on, it says days after after Beijing unveils state-of-the-art missiles moscow reveals plan that would radically enhance china's defense capability russia russian president vladimir putin said has said that moscow is helping china build a system to warn of ballistic missile launches since the cold war only the united states and russia have had such systems which include any array of ground-based radars and space satellites the systems allow for early spotting of intercontinental ballistic missiles icbm missiles all right which in your lifetime will be the destruction of america and we're going to prove that in the scriptures it says speaking at an international affairs conference in moscow on thursday putin said russia had been helping china develop such a system he added that this is a very serious thing that will radically enhance china's defense capability all right, now that we've read that article, I want to jump into the other article. Okay, it says Russia, uh, Slovakia, U.S. and Israeli submarines surface in Gulf to reinforce warning to Tehran. Okay, this article came out on the 22nd of December. Okay, it says uh, in coordinated in a coordinated warning to Iran, the USS Georgia cruise missile submarine crossed the Strait of Hormuz on Monday, December 21st, joining the Israeli submarine reported to have reached the Gulf after crossing through the Suez Canal. All right, and the Israeli are the Amalekites, which are the fake Jews. Okay, uh, America and um, the Amalekites are in league. All right, they are an alliance, and the scripture goes into. Um, how the least of the flock will draw them out the Amalekites okay the least of the Edomites okay it says um, and they're all in the uh, Strait of Hormuz now Strait of Hormuz is controlled by the Iranians you know and what is U.S. and um, the Amalekites the Israelites um, interest in that area well it's the oil because uh, the Iranians control 21 percent around 21 percent of the world's consumption of oil 20 about 20 to 21 million barrels of oil is traded in that region in that particular strait per day all right now it says the georgia's arrival was announced by the u.s naval along with detailed pictures of the submarine which can carry 154 tomahawk cruise missiles and 66 forces soldiers special forces soldiers and is escorted by the cruisers USS Port Royal and USS Philippine Sea. This force demonstrates the United States commitment to regional partners and maritime security with a full spectrum of capabilities to remain ready to defend against any threat at any time. The Navy warned. So there you have it. Now we're going to jump right into the scriptures. All right. Because we are actually in that time man, a time of war. Now, when you read Isaiah chapter 13, verse 4, it says, The noise of a multitude 
in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. So the Lord is actually instigating the battle. And these nations, you know, uh, are having you no know, disagreements and they're having they're preparing for a physical battle. All right. The Valley of Yahushapat, meaning the Heavenly Father's judgment. OK. And the Lord is is actually um, he's stirring up the minds of these kings. In fact, let me get this. OK. The scriptures tell you that the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. OK. When you read Psalm, uh, it's like your Proverbs 21 and 1. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. No, the Heavenly Father controls the minds of these leaders. And that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lob, again, which means your mind. So he's controlling the minds of these kings to have to have at odds with, with one another and make alliance with, um, you know, uh, a particular nation. You know, you have Russia with Iran and China. OK, and America, uh, their ally is with the Israelis. OK, the Amalekites, the fake Jews. All right. It says as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. And he's brewing up their mind to go out there in the Middle East. All right. Because the ultimate battle uh, will be in the Valley of Yahushapat, the last war to end all wars, World War Three. So when you go back to Isaiah 13 and four. It says verse I'm going to jump to verse five. It says they come from a far country from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, which indignation means a righteous anger to destroy the whole land. Now, what land is that referring to? Well, that's referring to Babylon, the great, a.k.a. America. When you read Revelation, the 18th chapter, it goes into it. All right. The merchants who so de deliciously uh, fed after this place, are, um, you know, all the, the different, you know, uh, exports. Um, you know, merchants that sold their goods to America are going to actually witness on their way over the destruction of this place. OK. And we read about the article uh, in the article about the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Those are the weapons that come from the end of heaven that travel from one continent to another. All right. It says, verse six, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the almighty. OK, and we see that the Lord is actually brewing up World War Three, which will be the end all be all wars. OK, Revelation 11 and 14, it says the second war was passed and that second war represents World War Two. All right. That came to pass. It was prophesied that it would. All right, it was a vision that John the Revelator received. All right, he received uh, World War One, World War Two, and World War Three. Now, the first two woes came to pass. It says, "And behold, meaning look, the third woe cometh quickly," and we see that it's not tearing anymore. Okay, we see the Lord is speeding up time, and that the destruction is close at hand. All right, the destruction of America, A.K.A. Babylon the Great. OK, now I want to bring out a couple of more precepts here. When you read Joel chapter three, let's see, verse one, it says, for behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, this is the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. So the Lord is going to, Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, he's going to redeem the elect of the nation of Israel and ultimately the remaining uh, nation of Israel, those who are destroyed, will come back in the loins of the elect. Okay, but the Lord is getting ready to free us from bondage. All right, and this must take place. Verse 2 I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Okay, Yahweh Shapat meaning the Heavenly Father's judgment. Okay, He's going to gather these nations up in the Middle East, and they're already gathering. As you can clearly see from the uh, article, submarines and uh, um, tanks and, you know, different military armory is being opened up for this particular battle. It says, and will plead with them for there 
for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Plea meaning, meaning judge. All right. And he's doing it specifically for his heritage. You know, Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It says whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they still have the land parted. And, and it's a ongoing. It's been a perpetual war between uh, the Amalekites. OK, those fake Jews over there in the land and the um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. All right. But those um, I can't remember the name. But it's, it's another nation that's over there uh, battling with the Amalekites over that land. OK. But nevertheless, it, it, it escapes my mind. So Salakia. All right. But that's pretty much what's taking place here, man. So all these things we're seeing here is the Lord fighting for us ultimately. And the elect knows that. All right. Lord, when we're part of that number. Zephaniah 3 and 8 says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, save the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. All right. It says, For my determination is to gather the nations. So in that area of the Valley of Yahushapat, these nations are gathering for a major war. North Korea, um, South Korea, America, Israel, Russia, Iran. Okay. You got uh, China. All, right, all these different nations are gathering together for the end all be all wars. It says that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So this is the Lord doing this specifically in, in preparation for destroying these nations who all had counsel against the nation of Israel, Psalm 83rd chapter. Okay, they all are enemies to the nation of Israel, and the Lord is going to destroy them, ultimately destroy the land of America. All right, in fact, let me prove that. Going back to Isaiah, we're going to close out on this. Isaiah 13, and I believe 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. To lay the land desolate. Now, when you go into the word desolate, it means uninhabited. All right. This land will never be inhabited anymore. All right. It's going to be completely destroyed. And again, the Lord Yahushua is going to beam up the elect right before those 200 million ICBM missiles hit. All right. And the only thing that's going to dwell here from the remains are the uh, desert creatures that can withstand radiation from the ICBM missile, uh, the nuclear destruction. It says, and he shall destroy, he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So this place is going to be completely destroyed and wickedness is going to be purged off the face of the earth, man. Okay. So we're looking forward to the gathering of these nations in the Valley of Yahweh Shepot in the Middle East. Continue to gather. We pray that the Lord continues to speed up the, uh, speed up time for the elect's sake. And this place is destroyed soon, you know, very soon. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.